My name is Vicky Barrow. This is a second grade lesson on word recognition. The objective of my lesson, the students will be able to recognize blend, blended initial letter sounds. The materials for my lesson is uh, the book Leaf Man by Louis Elfler, uh, a PowerPoint with pictures, and handouts with paragraphs. First, I will show the students pictures of a PowerPoint of words that begins with consonant blends and I will ask the students what they see and what um, and then, then discuss what is in the pictures. We are going to start with uh, I'm going to start like to ask the students what they see on these pictures and I probably will get from them an answers like um, there's water uh, leaves it's pink and then I will explain to the students that, dr that this is actually drifting and drifting is letting the wind or water momentum carry you then we'll go to the second picture and I will ask them again what do they see which I'll probably I'm expecting response like uh, grass flowers uh, sky, trees, and then I was explain to them that that's uh, uh, a prairie. And I was explain to them what it means. I just tell them that this is just uh, a land full of grass. Then we'll go to the third picture, and I will ask them again, what do they see? And more than likely, I'll get a man flying, a kite, a sky. And then I'll go ahead and tell them that that is actually gliding. And gliding is just letting your momentum carry you alone. Just, uh, and maybe I can tell them, for example, like birds when they um, move their wings and then they just uh, stop flying and just let their momentum carry them alone. And then we go to the fourth picture. And I will ask them, what do they see? And I'll probably get like birds, they're flying. And then I'll go ahead and tell them that that's actually a flock of birds. And I explain to them that they are, the flock of birds is just a group of birds that more than likely you know, are traveling together. Uh, after I'm, I'll go ahead and ask them what, do they, what these words has in common. And I'll just tell them that we're gonna go. I'll tell the students that by the end of my lesson, the students, by the end of our word investigation from the book, The Leaf Man, you will need to show me that you can recognize and understand the meaning of the following words which we just talked about in actual pictures of drifting, prairie marrows, gliding, and flux. Uh, for us, we're going to read the book. Then I will, to catch the interest, I will show them the front and back of the book. I will ask the students if they ever seen a leaf man or how they think a leaf man looks like. And then uh, we will write the words, the unknown words on a board. Then we'll we investigate together by looking at the words around the unknown words using contest clues. The student guided practice. The students will now practice by coming up with as many words as they can that fits in the initial blended consonant rules. The teacher will guide the student, students adding them when necessary and explaining if, shall, if, if the student is confused. The summary and reflection. Uh, I'll just tell them today we learned that many words begin with more than one consonant sound. Uh, that they are called consonant blends. And now when they read the books, um, they will be able to recognize these blends in many words.
to give them an independent practice, I will give the students, uh, I'll, partner, I'll partner them and I will, uh, and I will give them a paragraph and the students will look through the paragraph and find the highlighted words and uh, they will have a, a piece of paper where the word, the highlighted words will be in the middle and they will use the paragraphs to, uh, to find the meaning of that specific word. Uh, to evaluate them if they have uh, learned my concept, uh, I will give the students a paragraph and I'll be asked and I will ask them to highlight the words that begin with consonant blends and the students will also be asked to tell the definition of these words by using context clues in the paragraphs. And thank you for watching my lesson.